going to be showing you my updated puff. I know I sound a little bit congested, but I did just get over a cold recently. Oh my god, that sounded so gross. But anyways, yeah, if you would like to see how I get it, then keep on watching. The things you're going to need is the Eco Styler, Argon Oil. I use the Gorilla Snot Now, a spray bottle, the, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil by Shea Moisture, and a couple of brushes, toothbrushes, whatever you want to use to lay your edges and brush your hair back. And a scrunchie, I kind of use a headband, and then my favorite scarf. To start out, as you can see, I'm just spraying water all over my hair because I did have a puff on the previous day. And of course, I'm not going to wash it out every single day. So I kind of spray that to break down some of that previous day products off my head. And you don't want to work on no dry hair anyway. So yeah, definitely use some water. Next, I'm taking that Jamaican black castor oil for moisture and putting that all over my head. Kind of helping stretch my hair a little bit and moisturize at the same time. And I'm just going to be going back and forth with that water and moisturizer until I feel comfortable and I'm ready to start brushing through that hair. And then here I just sped it up a bit because I'm just going to be brushing through, kind of stretching that hair out. Because the thing about your high puff, if you want it to look bigger, of course, you're going to need your hair stretch, which is kind of going to show you why I kind of blow dry around my edges a little bit with the high puff. And also I blow dry, I'm going to end up blow drying around my edges because it's going to take forever for it to dry if I just put the scarf on and not even try to dry it. And I'm not trying to wait all day for that puff in that laid down edge area to dry so i do go over it a little bit with my blow dryer and the setting is very low not any type of high crazy heat so i didn't even have to use like heat protected so next i'm just putting that eco styler all over my head i'm not using too much i kind of learned that a little bit goes a long way when i use too much it just make my hair take forever to dry also so yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of that eco styler and I'm starting to brush my edges. I'm over here looking at my daughter because she decided to come in and bother me. And I'm just going to keep brushing until I feel like that I'm comfortable with how it looks. And so I feel like most of that other old residue is gone. And I do take the Gorilla Snot not only to lay my edges, but for the back part of my... I mean, I guess you can consider them edges, the back edges... To lay those two back side parts of my hair because it do kind of like stick out a little bit and that gorilla snot lay it a little bit better than the eco styler and then i'm gonna brush that and i'm gonna take this headband that i kind of cut and it's a little bit shorter than the normal headband that i use so it's kind of harder to like push it back to get my high puff but i try to kind of push it back in the front a little bit and the trick with getting the puff high is you focus on pushing it back in the back part more than the front part. So don't push it too far back in the front. Because after a while you'll end up with a ponytail instead of an actual puff. So I just push it back a little bit in the front and push it up a lot in the back. And I tie that. When I got it how I want it, I go ahead and do the second knot. I definitely want to start trying something else to tie my hair up with my puff. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know in the comment section. And I'm just tucking in that excess string up under the other string. And I'm kind of stretching out my hair a little bit, but I'll stretch it out more when I put the actual scarf on. But next up is my favorite part is to get them edges laid. You could put your scarf on from here if you don't really care for uh, baby hairs or none of that. But I like to do a little something, something to my edges because if I don't, I feel like I'll be looking like a little boy. So I just go ahead and take my little dusty toothbrush. And yes, you need a crusty toothbrush. Like I bought an edge brush, but I got to break that thing. It is not crusty enough for me. So I'm still using my toothbrush to lay my edges with that gorilla snot the gorilla snot is a little sticky and stuff but you know what the results are totally worth it so i'm just playing around my edges getting them how i like it before i put that scarf on 
and your edges is really your preference like you don't have to of course you don't have to follow the exact way i did mine just do whatever you feel like look right for you and this is what i felt like suited me for that day i switch it up all the time so you don't necessarily have to do your edges this way just choose what works for you but this style is very 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 simple like it's not hard at all very simple very quick and easy go-to style for me when I feel like wearing my natural hair most of the time I have a protective style and I'm just gonna put that scarf on and I leave it on for about 15 20 minutes and here are my end results whenever I decide to come on camera and show the end results after I kind of stretch the hair out but that's pretty much it on how you do the puff so I had to come outside to give you guys some sun because me recording in my bathroom did not give me no justice. All I did was put on some mascara and did my eyebrows. But here is the hot puff. This is what it looks like after I take the scarf off. If you guys can see it. A bit better with the lighting because the sun was just flashing. But this is what it looks like when I put the gorilla snot on my edges instead of the eco styler i like to look better and then i put the eco styler right here because it gets times to dry while the gorilla snot still have my edges laid okay. another thing that worked for me is the got to be glue in the black container i just don't like the um the white residue so i was just like eh, i'm gonna try something else but i got packages y'all so i'm excited to go open them Thanks so much for watching and I'm sorry for the setting, but you know, I was just so tired of that having to set up a filming setup just to give y'all some tutorials. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. As always, be sure to subscribe, uh, subscribe, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.